Neon Flux, when you see that character, you know what she's about. Just the way she's dressed, the way she moves, the things she does, she's fascinating to watch. Eon Flux was developed by Peter Chung on MTV, and it has that anime sensibility which was ahead of its time. She's certainly a provocative character, and she's an action heroine that we haven't seen before. Roll cameras, please. Marker. She's a woman who is very strong, quite a free thinker, and someone who questions what's happening around her in the society that she lives. I think we have different ways of solving problems. Yes, you ignore them. She's a force for freedom, and she defends that freedom in any way she can. Very few people could actually play that role. I mean, you definitely need physical grace and strength. So we needed to find an actor who had that kind of spontaneity physically, and Charlize is probably one of the most gifted actors in just the pure physicality of it that, that there is. Nice. It's pretty good. The physical aspect of this movie was something that I got very excited about, to see how far I could actually push myself and how many new things I could learn, and to really physically feel like I was this character. It feels like a huge film because there's just so much going on, but actually it's quite intimate because it has something to say about the human spirit. It's not a typical science fiction film. I think that's its strength. So it is otherworldly, and it is in the realm of fantasy, but the characters are grounded in humanity. The city of Bregna is situated 400 years in the future. It's the last city on Earth, and the leadership of the city is brutal and oppressive. Ian, we have an assignment. Good job. We want you to eliminate him. Beyond Flux is given a mission to assassinate the leader of Bregna, Trevor Goodchild, and she finds herself unable, actually, to kill him. It's her. Yes. She was here. Trevor Goodchild is the most powerful man in the world, and Eon is someone who refuses to be controlled. And I think because of that, they're irresistibly drawn to each other because they see each other as the ultimate challenge. It's a really interesting journey, I think, for her character because she has to question her motives and question the mission, and that becomes the real journey of the story, is Eon Flux sort of discovering more about the world she lives in and more about her own origins. 